All right, disc two. Well, that sure was some interesting stuff we just heard. Uh, but uh, Junior's dad is doing stuff now, so we gotta focus on him for a while. Sorry, Shion, your thing's on hold. Is everyone okay? Yeah, everything seems fine. Hammer! Hurry up and give us a damage report in our current position! Roger. Huh? Uh, uh... Abel's Ark. What's going on? I thought it disappeared along with the past Milsha just a moment ago. Hammer, where the hell are we? Coordinates confirmed. We're at point KZ255Y724. It's the same point where we came in contact with the hypersphere. What? UMN column pulse received. Time access confirmed. We're in the present. Then we were never really... Right. We were trapped in the world of Xi'an's subconscious this whole time. In order to awaken that. The thing they were unable to accomplish in the past. That's why they needed the power of both Xi'ans. Captain, there's a powerful energy wave coming from Abel's Ark. What? Shockwave incoming! Evil's Ark is initiating transfer. Is it gone? Captain, there's a transmission from the Durandal. What? The Durandal's here? Yes, sir. Looks like it's nearby. They say they spotted us and they're gonna pick us up. They're okay, right? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, let's go ahead and join up with them. We've detected the Elsa signature. Range to rendezvous point is 400. What about the unknown that appeared moments ago? It's currently moving through the UMN. A unique wave is being emitted from the columns as it passes through. The disappearing planets are likely the result of those waves. What kind of waves? They're similar to the vibration patterns emitted when Gnosis come in contact with humans. Are you saying it's a synchronicity chain phenomenon? The disappearance phenomenon is expanding. At its current rate, half of the Federation will vanish within 72 hours. Unbelievable. Have you identified the moving object? No, but this waveform matches the giant Gnosis that appeared at Old Milsha one year ago. That giant Gnosis? That thing they call Abel's Ark. That thing? According to the description in Mizrahi's Y data, Abel's Ark seeks the eternal circle, Zarathustra. Then there's only one place it can be going. Planet Mictum. planets are disappearing one after another, just as described in the Y data. The release of Lamegeton has awakened Abel. When Abel awakes, his cradle, the Ark, shall appear. It shall seek the eternal circle. And true to those words, the Zohar has become active. I can feel it. Oh. Abel, just who is that Terrible child? husband, I miss you so much. You could say he's an old friend from the time when I was a space pilot. He was always in an isolated facility, though, so I only met him directly a few times. That was several hundred years ago, and he has never changed the entire time. It's nothing to be surprised about. 
After all, I've existed for hundreds of years myself. And you don't look a day over His 30. His existence is recorded in Mizrahi's Y data. It's essential for controlling Omega. He does act as a mediator to the Zohar waves. But the record itself is thousands of years old. And Mizrahi restored it. Which means that boy has existed since that era. It's outside the realm of normal comprehension. Right now, he is an indispensable partner to me. He is the control device for Omega. The one weapon that can challenge God. Once I retrieve its power source, the Zohar, and obtain Zarathustra, the final artifact needed to ascend to the realm of God. Do you seriously intend to fight God? You'll see soon enough. Oh. Don't care. Don't what care. Are you doing, Margulis? Don't care about Margulis. No orders have been issued to move the fleet. They have Omega. And now this. Margulis, nobody cares about you right now. It's the unknown entity currently moving through the UMN. It's Abel's Ark. Abel's Ark? The object that was said to appear when the Messiah was crucified? To see where it's headed? It's Mictum. Why is this thing that appeared at Old Milsha a year ago heading for Mictum now? That I don't know. But the Federation Salvatore faction is headed for Mictum as well. Do you think that's just a coincidence? There's something there on that planet. And that's why you're taking the fleet? So that planet is more than just our birthplace? Zarathustra. The Blessed Saint's womb. It is said to be vital for the return to lost Jerusalem. Mictum, or Abraxas, was the planet where the worshippers of the saint landed. The Y data we obtained from the Federation also supports it. You believe Zarathustra lies on Mictum? Yes. And if so, we cannot allow them to intrude upon that land. Even if it means disobeying the orders of his eminence? Shion, what fills your heart? Is it fear, sadness, or joy? I don't know. I don't understand myself. Are you afraid? What are you afraid of? Why are you afraid? Are you afraid of being isolated from the world? Are you afraid of people rejecting you? Are you afraid of your eventual death? Afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of being alone. What does it mean to be alone? Is it more terrifying than death? Why does your face show such an expression? I don't know. I don't understand anything. Help me. Please, someone help me. Tell me who I am. Kevin, what should I do? Am I just going to disappear from this world, unable to do anything? Kevin. Jin. Jin, why? Why didn't you let me go? Why did you get in my way? If I'd gone with Kevin, I might have been able to be happy. Do you really think so? What do you know? You don't know anything about him. I'm going to die. Like Mom. Are you saying you don't care? Don't be stupid. 
No brother wants to see his sister die. Then... Then don't interfere. Let me go to Kevin. Don't take anything else from me. Shion. Get out! Is it alright for you to leave the room? Completely pathetic. Currently, Xi'an's mental balance is in an extremely unstable state. That is the likely cause of her attitude towards you. Given time, she should return to her original mental state. That's not what I mean. I'm pathetic I for agree. being unable to help Xi'an when she needs me the most. I agree. I might as well be a stranger. I'm unable to do anything for her as her brother, Cosmos. Not that I believe the words of that testament, but it might really be for the best to remove you from Xi'an. But right now, you are the only one who can save her. Please, help Xi'an. Chen, just let her know that you're there for her. And that you won't leave her. It's not that hard. Don't, like, fucking taunt her. Cosmos, are you alright, Xi'an? Cosmos, was what Kevin said true? Are you going to kill me? There is no connection between my current system and your life functions. Nevertheless, given that those are words from Kevin Winnicott, the system designer, we cannot be certain if they should be ignored. At the present time, I am restricted from taking actions that would jeopardize your life. Like jumping out of a window. Why do you protect me, Cosmos? Protecting Vector employees is registered in my program as a matter of high priority. Wow, she's got a That's Widowmaker right. spine right you there. You tried to protect me specifically. I didn't program any priority like that. Xi'an, protecting you is registered as my highest priority. Is Kevin the one who programmed that? I do not know. I can determine that it is a direct interrupt from my core module and independent of my control program. Your core? Are you saying your heart wants to protect me? My heart? I am unable to determine that. I guess you can't know that. I don't know what I should do. It's not that I want to give Jin a hard time. And it's not that I don't trust my friends. I know that you and Jin and everyone on the Elsa are worried about me. But isn't everyone really thinking that I'm a dangerous burden? I'm the one who led our universe to destruction. If I die, the Gnosis might disappear. Isn't everyone wishing that would happen? I'm afraid. I'm so scared. No one's going to save me. If everyone abandons me, I... Will you always stay with me? I think you need a chiropractor before anything else. I don't want to be alone, Cosmos. Help me, Kevin. Nephilim! Xion, don't reject everything. If you stay like this, you'll wind up alone. What do you want? Are you here to say a bunch of cryptic things again and confuse me? <laughs> You're always like that. You just appear in front of me, say whatever you feel like, then just watch without actually doing anything. It's true that he needs you, but he doesn't necessarily seek the same thing. <laughs> she just ignores you. that lampshade. The salvation he brings might not make you happy. Even if that's true, I still want to see him. I want to talk with him. If you go to him, you will have to choose. The choice you have to make will be difficult and painful for you. Do you still wish to? Yes, I still do. I need Kevin, just like he needs me. What Kevin wants is Abel, the Zohar, and you and Cosmos. And ice cream. Abel is currently being used as part of the Omega system to realize Dimitri Uriad's ambition. So your story's on Set hold, Abel Shion. free from his curse. If you do... Kevin will appear before you once again. Boss Baby's back. So that's what happened while we were away. We've received reports that Federation and Formus advance forces began fighting approximately three hours ago in the space surrounding Mictum. What's happening with the planetary disappearances? Approximately half of all Galaxy 
Federation planets have disappeared at this point. So, your assumption is that Abel's Ark is causing this phenomenon? What's the Ark doing now? Abel's Ark has appeared in normal space. It appears to be heading for Mictum as we surmised. The Merkaba appears to be pursuing Abel's Ark. Estimated time of contact is 1730. Not even two hours from now, damn that bastard! Take a drink every time Junior calls his dad a bastard. To be fair, his dad is a bastard. But well, he's my he bastard. Gone. What do you think my old man's up to, Hilma? Dimitri won't make it easy for us to find out what he's planning. But even if we don't know how much of the current situation he predicted, if he's brought out the Merkaba and obtained Omega, then there's only one thing he's after. The original Zohar swallowed by the Ark! That's why he wanted Omega and Abel, and whatever is sleeping on Nickton. Do you think his goal is to wipe out Ormus? Nah, I don't think that's it. Dad probably isn't even concerned with Ormus anymore. <laughs> Neither Dad are we. Was. He had an extreme fear of voodoo. Everything he does seems to be rooted in that fear. And when he got the Y data, he found what he wanted way to conquer his fear. Hmm. Are you still unable to make contact with the representative trustee? Yes. Communication with Fifth Jerusalem has been cut off since the appearance of Abel's Ark. The planetary disappearance is already spreading. It's no surprise we can't make contact. The situation is grave here on Milsha as well. We're launching escape ships one after another, but we don't know if we'll make it in time. And for that matter, I don't know if the planetary disappearance phenomenon affects us as well. You humans are hopeless. It's times like this when you should be working together. What you're saying is sad but true, Caden. We're using most of the Milchian fleet as escape ships, so we don't have any left to aid you. This will probably be my last communication with you as well. Helma. I'll need you to operate under your own judgment. Do what you think is best. I apologize for asking so much of you, even up to the very end. Committee member Mizrahi, please take care of the rest. The transmission from Milsha has ended. I know. Damn it! What are you hesitating for? Shion, are you all right? Yes, I feel fine. But you shouldn't push yourself after what just happened. Are you sure you want me around? Because you know I might call the Gnosis again, or maybe run off to join the enemy. Of course not. Everyone's worried about your health. I know my own body better than anyone. You can stop worrying. Shia. This isn't the time to be arguing about this, is it? If Dimitri Yuria is trying to use the Zohar for his own purpose, we have to find out what it is. Once it's already happened, it'll be too late. Yeah, I know. Shion, right now we need all the help we can get. Are you gonna be all right? How many times do I have to say it? I'm fine. It's nothing. Okay. We'll launch the Elsa as soon as we get out. We'll pass through the fighting between the Federation and Ormus to get to the Merkaba. There, we'll secure Omega and Dimitri Yuria, who should be at the center. The Duranda will stand by for support in the rear. All hands! Well, um, before we go check up on my evil husband, uh, we should do the Arcadian Resource Dungeon and also open up some segment addresses. Cleanser. Let's, uh, buy some equipment first, uh, change our ESs, all that. Before we do anything else, I would like to read a short analysis on Xion's character by Xenosaga Episode 1, the URL of my friend Adrian.
who I've referenced before, but I haven't been able to read too much of their analysis, even though it's all very good because uh, it contains spoilers. But now I think is a good time to read this because some people can't read into media at all. And it goes... Replaying the first Xenosaga game really makes me notice how depressed Shion is. Of course, hand-waving at people who are concerned about her because she doesn't want to deal with her deeply rooted problems is a staple of her character, but I never picked up on how ambivalent she is about most things. She is unfazed by the prospect of dying at the start of the game, when the battle simulation collapses around her, and apparently it's not the first time it's happened. The supposed ditziness a lot of people dislike her for that almost gets her killed from time to time is actually a hazy facsimile of a happy girl that gets shattered when she endures experiences that echo her childhood. She's perpetually tethered between wanting to live life how Kevin wanted her to and joining him because she's lonely. It's only natural as the series presses on that her depression gradually transforms into anger as she's repeatedly re-traumatized with no comfort or catharsis. And it ultimately makes sense that she is the central character in a series where the mes message is human beings are full of suffering but humanity is capable of moving towards a brighter future that is not just complacency in the familiar. Damn. Anyway. Okay. We can go to number five in Labyrinthos. That's it? Alright. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Which part of Labyrinthos is this in? Activation of song so this is... Been ordered. All personnel this is behind the 13 the door. EK Fury device. Acquired EK Fury device. Learn that you can skill Erde Kaiser Fury. Let's go find some uh, someone to try that out against. So I can just show it to you right away. Activation of song of You'll do. Out of my way. Early Kaiser Fury. And, uh, I'm gonna wear swimsuits for a while, um, probably through the next dungeon too, but then after that I'm taking them off, because the game's gonna get a little serious. But, uh, actually before that, we have, ooh, we have, um, that secret Arcadian research dungeon to do.